Welcome to Hardcraft Stadium, birthplace of the Micro Hard Mutilators. Today's game brought to you by Micro Hard Crash and Burn Technologies. Remember, in the NFL, we encourage you to play with your food. He's probably lining up against you. The San Francisco 49 Nightmares battle, the Micro Hard Mutilators. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow with you on MFL Game Day. Hey, uh, Fricks, do you smell something burning? Ah, thanks for reminding me. I left my rubber foot in the toaster oven to warm it up. Last time I left it there too long, it came out like Saganaki. Oh, bah! Uh -huh. It's freezing in here. Hey, why don't you take a shampoo and ouzo, stick your head in the toaster oven, that'll warm you up. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but it's still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot. They go to the ground game and pick up the first. Nicely done. And it's first and ten. And the defense goes for the jug. And the whistle blows the play dead. Along with the quarterback. Yeah. And it's first and ten. And the ball is lateral to his teammate. We're talking. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porta John in here. For a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Second down and a very long. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. Third down and the punter is warming up. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I don't have so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. Oh, what a sack there. I heard this guy likes to play with soft balls. He's going to play with crushed balls from here on out. And that'll be second down and four. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this rep likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. Second down and a lot. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Oh, my God. 
should be able to make this one. But will this kid can make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, MF the kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot Boom! And that'll be second and, and the defense jumps outside trying to mutilate the... If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fuck, 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 fuck? First and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the first set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. Shoe size. Cause he just walked all over him. Second down and seven. Third down and nine. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. First and ten. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Yo, seriously, man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? I will wreck your world. You understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. And the defense was reading him like a book. Like it was written in Braille, Grim. His hands were all over the If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Third 
Third down and five. And this game is up for grabs. Third down and five. And that one's incomplete. The receiver couldn't get there. And neither could his mother. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses under pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's bleak, Bricks. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good to be good, huh? I mean, can't we all just... Not this shit again. Bricks, I'm stopping it right there. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company lukewarm threads their marketing team hates it and he's off to the races and it's first and ten one time when i was playing a guy hit me so hard i went into a dark tunnel Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. Third down and, well, good luck. Rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. First and four. Second down and five. And the QB might as well just bury him. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And he punched his way out of that tackle. First and ten. <laughs> Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Play. They'll need to regroup quickly. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. 
his netting is a palm grip that cross pitching unbelievable nice punt should move him back nicely and he's got a chance for a good return here and that was a bone crusher right there folks And it's first and ten. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Ricks, it's the two-minute warning. You know what that means? Whiskey? And that'll bring up third down and seven. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the ref some cash. First down and seven. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Second down and seven. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. First and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the hip. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Second and three. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. Oh, welcome to Fumble Town, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first. That's it. That's their last time out. It's them against the other team and the clock. Ah, that doesn't seem fair. I'm going to throw a hammer on the field and even the odds. That's a killer. It was right there and then he dropped it. Oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy. League. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Great play by the defense. 
defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? That pass play nets them seven yards. Oh, no. I got the hiccups again. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. And they've had enough. The offense jumps off sides and attacks the ref. <laughs> First down and forever. for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. Yeah, they're all in politics. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. He's on the... It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline.
Well, that should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. Please, you can... And he just slipped away like a greased pig. It's a punishing hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the line. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. How do you like your defense is cooked? The ball carrier saying, well done. Bang, baby, bang. That was a nice piece of running, Grim. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. And the QB might as well just bury him. Oh, man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And like Bricks and Bowles, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Oh, he just got crushed. Second down and a lot. Third down and the punter is warming up. Well, why go for one when you can go for two? It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, he's talking. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Well, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And it's first and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. He refuses to go down. Has followed the bloody 
footprints to the new line. That's a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down, and he fired to the quarterback. Tight spirals and magnetic first. You know, if he was still talking, he'd probably be saying, Psycho killer. Qu'est-ce que c'est? What the fuck the fuck the fuck? <laughs> the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't think the funeral expenses that is. And it's first and ten. And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. First down and one. And that'll be second down and four. He was starting to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. And that'll bring up third and one. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Picks up two yards on the pass. And this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. I don't know if he even had a target on that throw. Third down and eight. And the back gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he put all of his foot into that one. Nice catch, and he turns it on the afterburner. Pump it all with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Ball out about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a cop of at home. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, 
First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. And they stack the line and he gets his bell run for a yard. Second down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, hot, hot. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. First and two. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. They want more points, so they're going for two. Kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light... You've got to avoid those spikes or you'll be a mutant pincushion. I was a chubby kid, Grim. My parents sent me to fat camp. My big brother told me as soon as you get there, stab the first kid you see and no one will mess with you. So I get off the bus at the camp, some kid runs up to me and stabs me. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Nicely done for a first down. How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. He's seven layers of smarmy, Grim. They're back up here on first, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Yeah. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. pass for a 10-yard gain. Uh, it's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. Throw, good catch, but not quite good enough at nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. We're at the two-minute mark in the second half. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. Well, he made the pass, but then a slap in the face by the defense. Oh, that's me in the hotel bar every night. And they take their first time out. Uh, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Uh, we are, Quinn. Uh, 
Wait, wait, wait. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much. And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. The defender says, I don't think so. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Ben, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they... This guy's a brick shithouse. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. Straight through the uprights. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Still, it ain't right, Grim. It just ain't right. First and ten. First down! He hit that line the way a rolled up down the bill, sticking out a flimsy low hands nut. The defense just used their last time out, and there's still plenty of game left to play. Well, congratulations! You just played yourself! Memes won't make you cool, Bricks, no matter what your mom says. Brain Scrambler! First and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Three. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. He's at the 40. The 30. The 20. Lifesaver there. The mutilators mutilated the opposition today and walk away with a win. They come up big today with a solid win, and the opposition will be licking their wounds on the long plane ride home. I know wounds taste just like chicken. How is it Spanish tomato soup? I forget, but a good scab tastes like bacon. Damn, I know. Mm -mm, a scab lettuce tomato sandwich. Sounds like a picnic. And the MVP is about to inspire us with some words of wisdom. Once again, the folks at Evil SM thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack.